Good day to you all. Or in old English, we're Safi Hala. Ishata Jonathan, also known as the PC Genie. Currently, you might be wondering why you're seeing my grotesque, uh, majestic body cutting brush. Basically, I firstly would seriously like to make a point of how important it is to exercise and increase your fitness in preparation for martial arts. But secondly, and most importantly, the fact that you don't have to hit the gym or buy exotic machines like treadmills in order to do so. Of course, doing all general chores like vacuuming can help build up your strength and especially stamina, particularly in armour like a couple of videos ago, but suffice it to say certain tasks help more than others. And the example shown here of cutting back garden plants is definitely ideal for what I prefer calling combat endurance because stamina sounds too game-like. Other examples that help with building up fitness for moving around are walking or running short distances, such as to local shops or neighbours, instead of driving there. And taking stairs instead of lifts can help more than you'd realise. Another example that may interest some of you who are able to is taking up dancing. Dancing lessons help not only with physical endurance and flexibility in some cases, but also actively help with footwork technique. I even once had a HEMA instructor briefly give me and others dancing lessons directly applicable to shuffle and passing steps used when fighting. Finally, I would recommend exercises related directly to martial arts themselves. Holding a weapon in a high or hanging guard for a long time when you're free can improve the muscles used for those guards and strikes when sparring or defending yourself. <laughs> Heck, you don't even need an actual weapon to do so. A two-handed guard with a broom or a single-handed posture with a hatchet, for example, will do just fine. Leave your comments below on what exercises and tasks you do daily, or what activities you think help you most of combat endurance. For now, I say ish thank you eo for watching, and would finally on the side recommend watching videos on learning historic languages, and will link below examples of videos I've found on the subject.